And we're through. All right. We're through. Whew, that's hot. That's hot. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Hails low, the treasure hunt begins again. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why the hails haven't you? Make sure you do. Hit the bell so you get notifications of all the new videos. We typically give you five, six, sometimes even seven every week of the treasure hunt. And today should be a good one. Finally gonna finish up this $300 unit that we purchased from an individual. I've been working on it periodically throughout the past couple weeks. Maybe it's been a week and a half. And today we're finally gonna get into the locked trunk. At least that's the goal. Open all night laundry room. Drop your pants here. Okay, well, we're not gonna drop our pants here, but we are gonna cut inside and find out what's in that trunk as we get everything else loaded and over to the warehouse. And then we'll see what's inside. I'm set up on the dock at the warehouse. These are the last two trunks that we have to go through. Now the second one being the World War II trunk. And we've got the cedar chest. Now the cedar chest top has broken off. That thing's pretty flimsy, so I've been trying to keep it on. But we're gonna dig into that first, and then we're gonna cut the lock off of the World War II trunk. Unfortunately, I'm flying solo today. Not by choice, but let's open her up. And, oh, see what I said? That thing was broken off. As I was moving it, it was sliding all over. So let's see what we got here. We got a Neil Diamond. Looks like a pretty cool Neil Diamond record. There's a price right there, $75.99. Is that a real record or is that just a picture? I'm not sure how that would, that would go. Look at here. We got Beatles, uh, Red Rose Speedway, Paul McCartney. Looks like there's some signatures on there. That's Abbey Road. Yeah, we all know that one. That's Abbey Road. We've got uh, Lonely Hearts Club by Peter Frampton and Bee Gees. Wings at the speed of sound, okay. Look at this. Here's the Road Runner. Uh, funny Fronts cloth beach bag. Still in the plastic, 59 cents. I'd be curious how much that's actually worth on eBay. I'm not seeing a date. I see made in the USA, so that's cool. We've got, oh, look at this. There's, is that a lithiograph from exclusive? Yeah, it is. It's the lithiograph, 1994 from Snow White and the Seven Doors. See there? And, oh, looking down, I see another one. Look here. 1997, but nothing in it. Okay. Looks like we got another blank. Let's see what it is. That one was The Lion King, 95. We've got... Definitely have some paperwork. There's a refrigeration and air conditioning guide. Leather pouch. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these are for craftsmen or tradesmen carrying your hot objects in that right there. So whether you're a welder, whether anything along those lines. We've got... We got the Figure Point Needle Book. Best of all family uses. Look at that, and the needles are still in there, actually. How cool is that? That's Japan. 70 gold needles. So I'm not sure if that's real gold or not, but there you go. You got gold. Oh, let's see. We got a whole plate. We got a, a granulated sugar cane. Oh, wait, 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 standard, standard brands. No, there's nothing in it. There's nothing in it. I thought maybe it said stamps, but nope. Okay. We've got, here's some old poker chips. We've got a bunch of random things, like electronic scissors. Uh, what is that? This is for what? This is for measuring something, but what exactly? 3V, that's a volt, right? I'm not sure what this is to measure, but it's for measuring something. Here's some old, probably perfume or cologne. 
looks like a lotion. Old lotion jar. Here's a purse. There's a purse. And we got some old pieces of something, so nothing nothing too crazy right there. Garbage over here. Some old boxes, packaging containers. What's this? Oh, it's a pressure gauge. It's just a pressure gauge. Brand new. I mean, that should fetch a penny or two. You would think. What's over here? Uh, this paperwork is stuck. Okay. The successful fish hobbyist. All right, let's sneak over here. And there's some old papers. Big plans for Market Square. Well, that's pretty useless to us. Mechanic Illustrated. That could actually, November 1972, that could have some collectible value there. Oh, look at this. Okay, there's a baby shoe. Now, a lot of people like to bronze these or, you know, collect them for good. And we got an old, that'd be an afghan or maybe even a baby, I bet you that's a baby blanket. That's what I bet you that is. I bet you that's the baby blanket with the baby shoes. That's what I'm sure it is. Here's one of those old brushes. Would this be like Victorian style? Oh, I thought maybe there was a knife. I thought there was maybe a knife in there. That's, I guess that's how you replace the head. I saw that it was, it wasn't connected. I thought maybe that was a secret knife for the ladies back in the day. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Oh, food! We got some candy. We got some candy, but it's hard candy and it's plastic, and I'm definitely not going to be able to eat that, even though I am starving right now. Oh, here's something. Here's something. Question is, what kind of something? Here's a uh, tote full of watches. Okay. Can you read what kind of brand that is? I can't. I can't see either of them. Either which way right now. Timex. That's a Timex. Let's see what else we have here. We have a... I can't read it. And we have another one, which is, I can't see that one either. It's not always the easiest thing, actually, filming when you do this. As a matter of fact, it makes it a hundred times more difficult. There's a chisel. Well, it's a box of randoms, just random stuff. But why? Why would you put this, like, there's metal and then there's a plastic sheet. I don't get it. Let's see. Here is some kind, oh, there's a cinnamon and sugar. That's what they used it for, a shaker. Some, some springs, big springs. Boing. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go th and sort through the rest of this. If I find anything of value, I'm gonna show it to you. If I don't, we're gonna get onto the World War II trunk. We're gonna cut that lock off. I did find two more little treasures in there that I thought were neat. This little pillow, it says treasure matters, which obviously we believe that. And then we've got a 10 karat gold watch that's probably just plate gold but at the same time gold is gold so remember treasure matters so what we have here is you can see you see the 10k right up there 10k it's time and for those that didn't see when we purchased this unit we were told there was a world war ii trunk inside and there is and it's dated, it 
got all the information on the side shipped from Germany. We're not going to share all that personal information for you, but we will share the original video. It will be in the video description, and then we'll also link that in the comments, and we'll pin that comment. So we did not find the key, so what we're going to do is, instead of taking a sledgehammer to this trunk, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the grinder. So let's see what we can do. Remember, safety first. Always grind away from your sausage. We're through. Whoo, that's hot. That's hot. Whew. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. We're through. In one, two, three. Oh, look, look at that right there. Just look at the. Here, let me bring. Let me bring it up for you so you can see. See that right there? 1943. Okay, I'm gonna bring the camera in. Here we go. Lee Furniture Manufacturing, SPEC dot C dot Q dot D dot number semi GIB 1943. All right, all right, here we go. The first thing I see is Elvis. There's Elvis, there's Elvis the pelvis. Uh, we found some other Elvis stuff in this unit. Elvis is alive. Oh man, Elvis, uh, dad controls Presley's estate, uh, Presley fans face delay in viewing Star's burial site, appealing youth market, Elvis becomes a movie hit, Elvis, 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 we obviously have Elvis, there's more, ailments plagued Presley, and, that. whoa, 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 here's World War II, Right there, World War II. What if strategic alter alternatives of World War II edited by somebody who's German? Uh, let me see. This is definitely a World War II book inside a World War II trunk. And no stinking way. All right. Uh, just because it's offensive, I'm going to try and cover up a little bit, but there is a book here, and again, our, uh, we're not trying to offend anybody whatsoever, but uh, this is definitely World War II, and stuff underneath here. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, let me see if I can... All right, we tell you in every single unit... This stuff is in every single unit, and look at that. We've got, everybody's going to ask the dates, 2013, 2010, 2010. Um, I don't know the dates on that. We're just going to set that right aside, and it looks like we have more. We do. We have more in DVD form. We're going to set that aside, too. We've got a super comb. Maybe that was for the opposition's mustache. You know, comb that mustache. I don't know. Huh. Uh, this might be sterling silver. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Let's see if there's any markings. No, but it looks like there was some kind of marking there. I wonder if that's sterling silver or not. I wonder if that's like... I wonder if that's from that era. Huh. It's beautiful. Uh, modern made... Gas range instructions manual. Wait, 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 wait. Hold a second. Here's some kind of patch. Can anybody identify this patch? If you can, put it down in the comments. What would this patch be for? Remember, this fella served and uh, this trunk came from Germany. It was shipped back home to the United States. We've got... Let me see what this is. U.S. Army single, sing, signal, la, 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 signal Center and School. 
Okay, I think we're okay. There's no personal information there. I'm not gonna go through all that right now. Here's some frilly stuff. Here's a, a heart handkerchief. There's another handkerchief. Look at this. This is pretty ornate, I guess would be what you would call it. Wow. Okay. US 25 Livingston, Kentucky. Let's see if I can show you the whole thing. Can you see that all right? It's beautiful, whatever it is. I don't know if that's a fort where he was stationed. Here's another one. Well, this one has U.S. Army on it. Here, here, here. Here, let's just close this for a second. And put it there. U.S. Army. Fort Benning, Georgia. Okay, here we go. To my wife, little wife, made... May, who made my dreams come true. Her name is only you. You share in all I do. And I jump. You make my joy complete by simply being you. So here is U.S. Army, Fort Benning, Georgia. I wonder, I wonder if that's where he was stationed. Here's some more. Um, cast iron cast iron and this looks like an old night light Let's see if this cast iron has any markings it does Taiwan I'm not sure what that's gonna mean but the markings are Taiwan on the cast iron here's another here's another night light and some kind of weird it's kind of weird utensil. Got a couple more things. This is a deed. First federal savings and loan deed. Let me look at this really quick. Let me see what I can find. And there is one more thing. Here, while I'm looking at that, there's a Crown Royal tin. Yeah, that's everything. That's everything that's in the rest of it. There's a Crown Royal tin. Let's see what's inside this deed. Here's a, here's a copy of the Last Will and Testament. Copy of the Last Will and Testament. Let's see what else is in here. Here's a marriage license, but again, I can't show that to you. Here's a... I can't show that to you either. Too much personal information. I found the deed. Alright, I'll go through this, and if I find anything of any more interest in the paperwork, I'll share that with you. Especially if it's military-wise. Okay, here we go. Auto parts. And here's a knife. Look at that. There's a knife. That's a browning. George would be proud. There's a browning. Here's another. It looks like another hunting knife. Skinning, except there's... Actually, that's probably okay that you saw that. All right, that's not personal information from the people in this unit. So they probably bought that somewhere or passed it down. Here is a Berkeley. So there's another Berkeley knife. Again, probably a hunting skinny knife. Looks like we got another one. That's surgical stainless. What do we have here? We have Phantom Calls. A Pro Series Phantom Calls. On. Pro Series Phantom Calls. You know what this, you know what this is for. I bet, I bet these are hunting calls. I bet that's for hunting calls. 
Oh, wait, wait, we just found money. There's some money. And, oh, yeah. That's 1945. That's World War II silver right there. That's a silver nickel from the war. How cool is that? And look, look, there's some coin collecting lights too, or uh, magnifying glass. Here's another collar. Thrushing Lees. All right, so there's two collars in here. Let's see what else is in here. Some kind of cable work for something. I oh, can't show you that. Oh, there's something for the phantom caller. Eagle. All right, this is all right. May God bless your birthday. Yeah, we should be okay. Par Paralyzed Veterans of America. Let me look in here real quick. Okay, the only thing in here is a map. That's it. Everything, everything I've seen didn't say anything about paralyzation of this veteran. So I'm guessing he did pass away, but I'm guessing that um, it was just something that he got for free. Oh, look at this. Okay, we got stamp collecting as well. Giant catalog enclosed. We got... Oh, wow. 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 Okay. All right. This entire folder is filled with, and look, you got stamps, but I think some of this was actually personally sent too. Yeah, some of this was personally sent. Airmail. All right, I'm going to see if I can show you some of the stamps. Let me see what I can grab out of here. All right. This is a, a three cent stamp. And are they in here? Nope, not in there. Are they in here? Nope, not in there. Oh, here you go. Stamps that were collected. More stamps, just postmarks even. I'm not sure if postmarks are valuable. Some stamps are. So there, there you go with the dates and the postmarks. Look at all that. How cool is that? Looks like that's it.